inspector just came, so he's doing the rough-in inspection right now on our plumbing, hoping everything goes great. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Off-Grid Homestead vlog. Some exciting news. Some of you may not believe it, but it's totally true. We passed our plumbing inspection. We passed the rough-in inspection, right? You guys listed things that you thought might not be right over in this area, huh? Over in this area, huh? But we passed. There are a couple things that we need to just make sure we get done, but we passed. One thing, okay, the nail plates up there, we got those. They're in a bag. I showed him them. He said, put them in. You're good to go. Um, another thing, we need to have another support like this over here in the middle right there because it's supported here, supported here, and then it goes about nine feet to be supported there. It needs to be supported every four feet. I knew that, but I forgot about it, so we have to fix that. Then, what else was there? That's like it. It was support stuff. Oh, one over here. One, one support over here. Up there. One support up there for that. Besides that, guys, we totally passed. It's amazing, I know. Um, so what do we do now? Well, we have been without water for like a week, probably around a week at least. And so it's time to start being able to go to the bathroom on a toilet again, because, well, our toilet has been frozen solid. It's been a solid block of ice. I put the heater on it today. We were up above 40 degrees, finally got it thawed. Mostly, I got the bowl thawed and flushed with a bucket. The tank is still frozen. I'm working on that. But we do have this old sink here. We're going to go ahead and install that here. Um, we're going to put the toilet in, put the shower in with a temporary hot water setup. Um, so we're going good, man. We're going to have a working bathroom here real soon. We're going to have a working toilet today. That's a bonus right there, guys. Let's get busy. We're using these little ball valve fittings right here for the toilet and bathroom sink. So they have a compression fitting right here. This goes over this pipe here. So we gotta cut this off. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Inch and a quarter. That'll give us uh, space for the sheetrock and then space for that. Let's come out to an inch and a half. I like inch and a half better. We can always cut it off more later if we need to. It's easier to cut a pipe shorter than it is to make it longer. What do you think? No, we're still in like speed demon trying to get stuff done mode because uh, we just got a little bit more we need to do i mean not a little bit we've got a lot but we're trying to get stuff done before it gets winter all the way there we go get rid of this label here Okay, so this one goes on first. Then this guy. Then this guy. This guy slides up. And we tighten it on there with a couple of wrenches. Okay, it's good. Hook our toilet right up there. Now we just do the same thing for the bathroom sink right here. Put those valves on there. They'll connect to the end of these hoses right here. They go up to that faucet. Go ahead and bust that out right now. Okay, bam, bam, off, off. All right, that's coming out good. We got the water connections done here. 
Toilet's still thawing out there. Boiling some water. We're going to put it, it into the, the tank slowly so we don't crack it. But we got to get the drain here fixed up and we'll be good to go. This sink right here is not designed for being used in the bathroom. So the drain on it is too low. The sink sits too low. So we're going to have to put some wood blocks under it to raise it up. But it's just temporary. Right? It's what we have right now. We don't know like what style we really want to use in here. And we don't want to mount anything permanent because we still have to uh, yeah, sheetrock the whole thing, right? Right now, we're just trying to make everybody happy with a sit-down toilet. So let's grab some blocks of wood here. Take some two-by-fours. Check the height on the sink. Use these blocks down here on each leg. It'll be high enough for this drain to work properly. So that's good. Moved it out of the way so that Seth and I can carry the toilet in here. But we need to bust this guy out. I've never busted one of these out before. It says you just hit it with the hammer. Wow. Huh, I don't know. It makes me a little nervous. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Huh. Well, there you go. That's where the poo poo's going. Right down in there. Whew. Say goodbye. All right, we got to get the rest of the screws in here and uh, clean that out right there. Bring the toilet over. We'll be having things. Bam, baby. Toilet flange is all screwed in. Seth's so gonna sweep out the bathroom. I'm going to need a wrench. I'm gonna work on getting the toilet disconnected from out there. Hopefully all of our ice is melted by now. Put that hot water in there. It did great, it didn't crack or nothing. Um, and it melted. Ooh, a lot of the ice right away. See, what we've been doing is we've been having this little buddy on it, heating it basically all day. So, we'll see here. Hopefully all the ice is melted. Ooh, it looks like it. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Ice is melted. Water's warm. Flushed. Bam. All right, it looks like it. Let's get this guy unbolted and uh, dump the water out that's left in there. And then take it inside. Holding the toilet down, we just have these wing nuts here. So we go ahead and take those guys off. Disconnect the water line going to it. We'll need this guy inside for hooking up the toilet again. Now I think we can lift off that toilet which is a straight shot down to the septic tank so whoo that'll be interesting oh. sit down right here beautiful wow that's cool all right you guys want to see you guys want to see all right so yeah look at that so that's the wax ring all smashed down and septic tank's full you can see there's Water down in there, right there. Yeah. So that's cool. That's what it's supposed to do. We need to get these bolts out. Let's go ahead and see if we can. Man. Yeah. Ah, there we go. One. That's wax. Yeah, that's wax. Okay, cool. It's a sealer. It's like a. <laughs> All right. So we got to clean those guys off. So this right here is the wax ring. Just got a standard wax ring. There's different, different types. Some that are not even wax, they're like silicone probably. We just went with the standard wax ring. Peel it off. You gotta pull out the center part. There we go. Wow, okay. 
Okay, wax ring's done. I can't really touch the camera now, guys. So, unfortunately, you might not be able to see here. I'll try to spin you around a little bit. I'll try to push you down. There you go. How's that? Okay. Can you come over and tip this over? Yep. Toilet? Yeah, tip it to the um, side. Yeah, that way. Go ahead and keep tipping. Keep it going. Okay. So, we're supposed to stick this guy on there. Like that. Hopefully it'll stay. So the wax ring, just press it up on there like that. It should stick. These bolts right here, they fit in here, something like that. Hopefully something like that. Something like that it should be pretty close to just right there. Probably should turn that thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn that really quick. Hold on, Seth, okay? Turn this a little bit more so that these would be up in the, the narrow slot further. So then it's time to pick up the toilet. Pick that bad boy up and we'll set it down over that hole. I think we're going to have to... Huh. You're going to have to probably come to the side because it's going to go up against the wall. Yep. Yeah, let's go like that. All right. So we want that, oh no, the bolt fell over. Okay, we want that bolt in that slot. Yep. All right, now we just bolt it down, hook up the water line, wait for Jules to come back with the fitting to connect the sewer line outside. Bam, we're getting close, Heather. Yay. Marty is dismantling our setup for the summer. Yeah, cause this pump not impressed with this pump. Presser switch went bad on it. Replace that. Then the tip valve went bad on it. And so... Every time we wanted to use it, we had to come twist those wires together. Yeah, it was a pain. <laughs> so now I need these right here to hook up the other pump that we've got. It's an old pump that we were using before. We replaced it with this new one because it was new and cool. But it's not so cool. So camp is all being moved to the house. Yep. <laughs> So I gotta say goodbye to this system. And this is our new system. <sighs> Tank that holds how much? 2,300? 2,500 gallons? Yeah. So far, what? We've got like 1,800 in it. I think 18. Woo! Gonna be having things. New, but not new, right? Right. <laughs> the one we're gonna use, but we didn't just purchase it. We've had it. Later, we'll mount the pump permanently to the wall somewhere but we don't have all the right fittings look at this look right here i don't know if that's going to work temporarily but we gotta we don't have the crimp tool here because it's david's and we gave it back to him <laughs> and so we need to borrow it again but um hopefully that'll hold we'll see it's only got to hold 40 pounds of pressure <laughs> So we got the pump hooked up. Now we need to bring power over. Turn the valves on. And it should work. It's awesome. We'll <laughs> Alright, we're popping the hood. Because we're going to use the car to power that little battery. Or that little pump, I mean. I hear it running. You hear that? It's running. Oh. And there's water pumping through. It's alive. It is kind of muddy around here. All right, so here he's got it just temporarily hooked out up out from this little notch in the house to the car battery. Of course, this is temporary. You gotta be careful around here. It's so squishy. So everything's melting and so it's like a slide down the hill look at tux's little prints all right so what are we doing down here we're hooking up the super pipe all right is it like frozen <laughs> um some of the ground is frozen <laughs> pretty hard that's frozen right there hi but tux i was talking about you <laughs> not too much of it yeah 
Today was a, actually a warmer day in the 40s, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty warm. Okay, breaking out the knockouts for the, whoo boy, <laughs> for the sewer drain here. And then we're gonna connect it with this rubber stainless steel fitting here. Uh, so that's what we're doing. That was a good trick, huh? You soap? I don't know, we're gonna find out. Easier to get things on and off. Yeah, a lot of times. Stay down. <sighs> I was working with something that's warm. Mm -hmm. but this isn't exactly warm anymore. In fact, it's kind of cold out here now. Oh, okay, we can slip it on the other side. Don't let me forget to put that other piece on here. The metal? Yeah. let me forget no don't forget well at least now it smells like honey or whatever that soap is uh -huh. <laughs> it's a much more pleasant smell <laughs> yeah. Seth people thought you were so helpful the way you just jumped in there and helped with the window that thing was really tough to get on but he is Tightening the metal part around it now. Yep. All right. But that was a booger, huh? Get yeah. on. <laughs> so it's connected now. All right. First time. Water. <laughs> Glorious, huh? Yep. Running water inside the house. Way to go, babe. Thanks. <laughs> So that's where we're going to leave it at for tonight, guys. If you want to see more about what's going on here on our homestead, maybe more about how we're actually plumbing it off-grid, uh, there's a video right over here that you'd probably like to go ahead and check out. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I'll see you right over in that video in just a second.